I'm Ben Harms. I'm a representative of the Master Crafts Association. The association is a, a body of skilled craftsmen which was established approximately 1897. We carve a variety of different elements uh, and that could be from interior items uh, such as uh, war brackets, console tables, mirror frames uh, and literally any decorative item uh, that can fit into a building or an establishment for either private client or national trust houses. We do a lot of work for English heritage and many members within the association work together on different projects. The association at present has approximately 40 members which are the main body. Um, there are many, many individual carvers who don't necessarily belong to the association yet. That doesn't mean that they are not competent carvers, it just means they either haven't applied to become a member and in order to apply basically somebody suggests or puts them forward, they bring forward forward a portfolio and from that then we look and assess the standard, the quality of their work and from that then we either accept them or say that they really need to little work a little bit more on a particular line and then we will look at it again. But uh, it's, it's, it's working very well. I guess. Most people nowadays in order to go and actually be involved in carving have either some interest in hobbyist carving to start with and then from there they would make inquiries as to who may be giving apprenticeships or training. There are uh, some night classes going and as I said there's a city and guilds in London and uh, they give training on a regular basis there and then from there they would then make inquiries as to who has actually got a lot of work on, who may be taking people on and then it moves from there basically. In the woods, there are so many different woods. In the main, if you're looking at uh, 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 carving for ornamental and decorative carvings, it is your, uh, for instance, yellow Quebec pine. Uh, you have your lime wood, which is a very soft, hard wood. It very, holds very high detail. Um, you have uh, uh, woods like fruit trees and so on, which is for more special one-offs. Um, they're rarer woods uh, for Ecclesiastical, uh, a lot of it is done in oak um, and uh, uh, then you have mediums where we use different things for instance on the stone and that could be a whole variety of stones, you know Portland stones, marbles, granites, it depends on the sculpture that's done in order to get the right effect. Some of the major projects that we've worked on and including myself have been uh, Windsor Castle a park house, um, uh, the, the, the VNA, uh, the music room in the VNA was a major project that we worked on, and uh, Hampton Court recently. And then on top of that, there's individual members who have worked with individual clients, and uh, that keeps it all flowing.